This is Alternative Political Analysis and this video will be on why the new left must fuck off and die. And basically the new left are pretend social democrats who engage in excessive virtue signaling as the social justice warriors that they are. They push identitarian bullshit which divides the working class and they do this via several deplorable methodologies and one is anti-white racism and this comes in the form of excusing and supporting racism against white people and this can be seen in the most extreme elements of Black Lives Matter such as Simone Sanders and it can be seen in what was the piss poor reaction to the Chicago hate crime and in contrast to this they strongly condemn and exaggerate racism against non-white people now, I have no problem with strong strong condemnation of racism against people who are not Aryans, but that should be accompanied with a strong condemnation against racism where Aryans are the victims and exaggerating any form of racism does not help address the issue of violence and discrimination against certain ethnicities. And the another example is um, the new left excusing um, the racist and genocidal Kudenhof Kalergi plan. And for more information on that, there is another video on this channel about that. And this brings us on to privilege and power bullshit which means that in the view of the new left wealthy non-white people are less privileged and less powerful than poor wor working class white people now this is bullshit on the face of it and you want an example Gina Miller deliberately misinterpreting a 16th century law to delay Brexit, which was the expressed will of the working class people of Britain. And better still, that law was, the High Court got it wrong, that law was misinterpreted, and deliberately so. It wasn't as if James Stewart was going to rise out of the ground and say, I demand a hard Brexit. And this brings us on to more anti-Aryan bullshit. In the view of the new left, elected Iranian administrations and popular support for Hezbollah is one of the worst things ever, in their view. But um, the existence of the illegitimate regimes of Medina Israel, Saudi Arabia and the horrible backwards dictatorships of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Council are perfectly acceptable in their view, which is stinking hypocrisy at its worst. And when the new left is called out on this bullshit, as I've already mentioned in this video, they make piss poor excuses and use bullshit slogans like Check your privilege. How about you check your privilege? You cause it a little furry. You probably earn more than all the working class white people you are denigrating. So fuck off. And this brings us on to the next subject um, about the new left. They, their support for sexist misandry basically 
and they demonize cruel life people as misogynistic. Really? Lila Rose and Rebecca Kaisley are misogynistic? And even still, everyone, regardless of their gender or genitalia, are entitled to support the pro-life decision. And this brings us on to more power and privilege crap. They say that wealthy women are less powerful and less privileged than homeless men. Again, I'm not just bird race to end this bullshit. And it's ridiculous on the face of any neutral and objective observer. And they choose one side of child support where more often than not the male paying the female for child support. One side at all one is again bird race feminists lose their shit when a woman has to pay alimony to a man. But in the majority of cases when it's a man paying a woman, it's fine. It's perfectly acceptable. And one side of custody. Yeah, because fathers don't have a right to see their children apparently. Again, more bird race feminist, politically correct, social justice warrior bullshit. And it's leading to the breakup of society and they choose women at fault for divorce and marriage breakups, but they do not um, do the same for men in a similar position. And they defend women cheating and condemn men who do the same. And they defend men paying child support for other men's children, which is quite frankly a glaring injustice. They propose child support cars to ensure money is spent on the children instead of the single mother indulging herself with money that is supposed to be going towards caring for her child. And they defend family courts breaking up society. And quite frankly, th those judges and legal experts need, quite frankly, corporal punishment for the injustices they have imposed on society. And the new left often supports the status quo more so than traditional conservatives look at facts tell you that they might be right wing ideologues and zealots perhaps well there's no perhaps about it but anyway that's indulgence and they support foreign military interventions new left sounds this is more and more looking like the old right and many support the existence of Midnight Israel despite its far right policies and far right allies such as Saudi Arabia, the Gulf Cooperation Council, Ukraine etc as I have previously alluded to in this video. They demonize and sneer at the working class and as I've already given the example of Dina Miller, but Britain's working class people were demonised ceaselessly during the Brexit referendum campaign. Of the, they were everything that was wrong with society. And moving on in this video, the new left are often pro-monarchy snobs. The idea of republicanism and electing your chief of state is too far left for them. But um, given hundreds of millions 
couple of times every year to your corporate welfare charger. That's just fine. And that's another thing about the new left. Why they, they will justify social welfare cuts while also um, not condemning or even defending corporate welfare increases. They are anti-socialist and anti-communist. And the example of this, Zoe Williams of The Guardian excused Tony Blair for his terrorism and war crimes, but condemned Fidel Castro for his anti-imperialist stance as leader of Cuba. Also, and another thing, Zoe Williams called Castro a dictator, um, but we all know the polls in Cuba at that time showed that Castro was going to win the election in a landslide until Fulgencio Batista cancelled the election. I love how that piece of history is always overlooked. Moving on on the new left, as they call themselves. They don't want farewell distribution. And the evidence of this is the media vilification of Jeremy Corbyn for je suggesting that farewell distribution is possible. And this isn't just the usual suspects like the Tory Graph and the Times, this is the Guardian, the Huffington Post, the independent, so-called left-wing and independent media outlets. Again, it's just more of the same old bullshit. They're virtue signaling wankers and social justice warriors. And also, they promote gender dysphoria while ignoring the daily hardship of hermaphrodites and gender dysphoric people, especially if said people are working class. And these people, they're, they're just as responsible for dragging the political spectrum further to the right as any Tory or Blairite is. In fact, the Blairites are like the corp new corporate New Democrats, the epitome of this new left bullshit. And the new left, they were not pro Ausblock and were delighted when it fell. What does that tell you? They are also anti Christian. They mock people who follow a Jewish Palestinian and socialist carpenter who said feed the hungry, heal the sick, help the poor and needy, and welcome the stranger. So they're for bigotry, they're for classism, they're against full public health access and coverage, and they're against food welfare. Nice. Lovely people, aren't they? Uh, they also mock the nativity and what it stands for. Again, helping poor children and refugees. And again, there's a difference between refugees and forcing mass migration for demographic threat and demographic change. And quite frankly, these people are a gift to the alternative right. So basically, this video is just a small number of reasons why I think the new left should fuck off and die, or at the very least, leave the political stage for good. <laughs>